We now I bring to you none other than the impeccable, irremovable, Art Bird, our Toastmaster. Good evening, everyone. I think we're going to have a great meeting. Everyone who is assigned is here. I'd like to actually just go over the rundown so everyone knows. We, are, we have a couple spots that are not filled yet, so I want to make sure that we might be able to do that. Our opening and invocation will be Jim. Award master is Dina. Jump master is Mark Williams. Our 90-second training tip is Tom Ferguson. Our discussion, Art Hewitt is not here, and as I said in the email, if there's anyone interested in doing a discussion, uh, anyone up for that this evening? Mark? I'll do it. Okay. And here's how our speakers would go today. Uh, speaker number one would be Victor. Number two will be Robin. Number three will be Mike Garrett. For table topics will be Kathleen. Our general evaluator tonight is Brian. Evaluator number one is Mickey. Evaluator number two is Roy. And evaluator number three is Alan. We are still in need of an awe counter and also a timer. Will you be awe? Uh, awe. Uh, Mark, did you say you were going to be awe? You need me to be the timer? No, no, you're handling the discussion. discussion. Yeah. Anyone else can be the timer? I'll be. Okay. And Jim will take on the timing. Okay. Yes, we do. And if someone can take over for Jim for just a quick moment, because he's going to be doing our opening. Hope everyone had a good New Year's and just had a really good time and to wish in the new year. This is a whole new Toastmaster year, and I think it's going to be amazing. And I just want to go ahead and bring up Jim. Jim's got our opening. Jim, first. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and non-existing guests. I'd be prepared for a great meeting. It's very good to have him back here, so we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. One of the great things about Toastmasters is that we're constantly learning. And one of the things that we're constantly learning is new words. And tonight to give us our word of the, of the evening, Dina Galucci, come on out. in many different forms, so we'll see how many you can use. We'll be keeping track of that tonight. Yeah. One of the things here at Toastmasters, not only are we speaking, but we're also laughing and enjoying each other's company. One of the ways that we do that is with a joke or a funny story, and for tonight, we've got Mark Williams to come up here and, and try to make you laugh. Young boy enters us so hard now. All right, thank you very much. All right, Mark Williams. Getting a little extra on the jokes tonight, so we appreciate that. That was very good. Again, for Toastmasters, again, it's always learning, and we learn very quickly here. And for our 90 second training tip, I'd like to bring up Tom Ferguson. Come on up here and give us a little bit of knowledge. Sticking with the comedy thing. I think the hook's coming. <laughs> there you go, training tip. That was one kind of way, if you're really looking at it, is one kind of way how to get out of a situation. You don't keep on going. You know when it's gone, right? So, Tom, thank you very much. And are you a guest or a member with us? I'm a guest. You're a guest? I'll tell you what, why don't you, what's your name? Michael. Michael. Do many people know Michael? Have you seen him before? No. No? All right, well, welcome. I'll tell you what we're going to do for you, Michael. Why don't you come on and not be over there, but grab some water and come on over yeah. here. Sit next to that cute lady right there. There she is. Which one? I didn't see her. Well, I was pointing. I was pointing. Believe me, there's a lot here tonight. So I would say take your pick, but for time's sake, I'm going to point you right there. Okay. Yeah. Sit back and enjoy. That's Mickey, and we'll... 
some other people. Everyone, this is Michael. Welcome to our house. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. See, Brian, where are you when we need you? <laughs> A great thing about Toastmasters is learning. One of my favorite magazines is Success Magazine. And this is the January issue. And one of the things that it says, 68 ways to get out of your rut. And hopefully nobody started off in a rut or anything. But they have one article that says, 52 ways to get out of your comfort zone. And the very last one is, it says, go to join Toastmasters. How about that? So Success Magazine says that. We got to be doing all right. So there you have it. If you're ever in a rut or you need something, Success Magazine. But it is knowledge that Toastmasters is something that people should do to get out of their comfort zone. All right, next is our discussion. And Mark Williams has stepped up to the plate and is going to have our discussion. And we'll see what Mark has. Maybe another joke. No? No. no. Mark Williams, everybody. Give us the spirit. subject but to do it off the cuff. We really appreciate that. Thank you. All right folks, we're going to take a five minute break and then we'll come back with our speeches. And How many of you actually read Success Magazine? Do you know what it is? Oh, okay. At Barnes & Noble, not plugging them, but that's the place you can get it online. But it also has a lot of things that if you're, Robin has a speech coming up about different things along that line, but it should be something that people should take a look at. It's online. I have like tons of magazines with uh, Success Magazine. So if anytime anybody wants any of the old editions, that would be good. So, Alan also had a suggestion. Alan, do you want to go ahead and tell them what the suggestion should be? Uh, you were talking about from the right, Success Magazine. <clears throat> Our first speech of the evening is, I believe, from seven to eight minutes long. Victor Arsenio is a United States citizen, but originally is from Peru. His native language is Spanish, but he also speaks French and knows Quechua, the Inca language. He worked as a traffic air, air traffic controller at the Peruvian Air Force in Lima, Peru. He's an educator that holds a license as a computer information science and also a Spanish teacher. Today, he is coming to share with us his trips to Peru with his daughter, Cassandra visit to the Golden Museum in Lima, Peru, some information on the Inca language and the culture in the Pachu, in the Pachu, Machu and Pachu. Machu Pachu. <laughs> Let us go ahead and welcome Victor Arcidia. Been with us, Victor. You've been with us for a few months visiting, and this is, I believe, according to Roy, fourth speech already. I give you all kinds of kudos. Good spirit. And thank you very much. All right, our next speaker, Robin Podboy, is the creative healing arts facilitator at Bella Nish, Spiritual Arts and Education Center here in Boardman. Robin offers a variety of workshops to discover how to create the life you really want and be inspired to reach new heights of personal growth. Robin is the co-author of Beyond Beautiful, Beautiful Seeds of Change, and soon to be released is her latest book, Methods of the Masters. Tonight, Robin's speech will be five to seven minutes, coming from her CC. And the name of the speech is Managing Expectations. What did you expect? It makes a difference. Robin Potterboy. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests. I 
expectations. We have All right, there we have it. Spirited. Yeah. And very much so bring out a lot of things that we may not have known about and things that we should be aware of. And it would be nice, sometimes we talk about going back to the future, if you remember the film, and families getting together. If you think about it, how many people, how many families eat dinner together, do things together, those kind of things. You know, those were the staples of what a family is. And we've gone off into our own little world. It's sort of like our neighbor. Do you know your neighbor? You know, those kind of things, things to think about. All right, coming up. <clears throat> is one of, the, one of the things that impromptu speaking. How many of you are good at impromptu speaking? Yes. Every hand should go up. Mike, yours is going to go up if you keep coming to toes, but coming up now. All right, this is good, all right? One of the ways that we improve upon that and we practice that is table topics. And tonight, Mike, if you'd like to participate, we may have a question for you. And, what, and Kathleen may... I'm not sure if you, let me very quickly, Kathleen, before I bring you up. Have you been seeing this clock here? And, okay, that clock is a timer. If you do come up here, you will see this timer. The red light, there's a red light, there's a yellow light, and there's a green light. When, toast, when you're coming up for table topics, you're given at least a minute and a half, or what is it, Jim, two minutes? The green light comes on at one minute, the yellow comes on at one and a half, and the red light comes on at two. So you're supposed to have... The goal is to get from one and a half to two and a half minutes. So you're, you're, that's your target time. So when yellow until half a minute after the red comes on. And you'll see the clock. The clock is right here. So these are basically timed out. Sometimes people get up there. When they get up here, they'll go for five minutes. And here at Toastmasters, what we try to do is we try to keep it very uniform. So if you do. Sorry. There's a red light at the bottom. No, at the top. At the top. But it's right here in front of you. You can move from the lector and speak whatever, but you'll keep an eye on that. So that is just something to keep in mind if you're called tonight. If not, you'll be called when you come next week. All right? So what I'd like to do is bring up our Toastmaster for this evening, our table, table topics, topics, and that would be Kathleen. So. Toastmasters, always keeping the meeting going. And I'm going to go ahead and move us on. We're now going to, Mike, one of the things that we do here at Toastmasters is that we evaluate everything that we do here in the meeting. And we have one person who is the main person evaluating everything. It's called our general evaluator. And I like to bring our general evaluator up. I don't see a smile on his face. He's got serious game face on. So let's bring him up, Brian McConnell. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to turn it back over to our Toastmaster, Mark Burke. Get those glasses. Oh, your seat's over that way. There you go. All right. Good meeting. I hope everyone had a really good time. And to close our meeting, I'd like to bring up Jim. Welcome back, Jim. Okay. Like sort of welcome back, Carter. Welcome back, Jim. Is that a great meeting? Have a wonderful week. Yes. Thank you so much. I am going to go ahead and turn the lecture. I want to thank you very much. I want to, on behalf of being the Toastmaster, thank you for making this go very, very smooth. Your participation and just everything making this meeting very, very successful. I thank you very much. I'd like to return the lecture over to our, our president, Mark Williams. Oh, come on. Give it to him a little bit.